Ryan gives us the go, Pigman open. kids it's good to see you hopefully you enjoyed that video my name is brother levi and we're going to help you with some songs today uh why, why don't you guys introduce yourself ladies first hi i'm grace hi and i'm mr joe head of the children's church ministry and and there's someone else who wants to say hello to you today uh, check this out real quick hey everybody we just wanted to take some time out to tell you guys that we miss you and we love you um, we hope you all are doing well. We miss seeing your smiling faces every Sunday and your hugs and your high fives. And um, we just want you to know that we're praying for each of you and that we really miss you. And the girls wanted to say hi to their friends too because they miss you all as well. We miss you. We miss you guys. Love you guys. Awesome. Well, it's a wonderful thing that we, we can grow up in a day where we have all of this technology that even though we're not in the same church together, we can still kind of be together. So now that you know me and Grace and Joe and all those crazies in their backyard, why don't you go, and, go ahead and stand and get off that couch wherever you're at and sing this song today, God of Wonders. Here we go. Lord of all creation Of water, earth, and sky The heavens are our tabernacle Glory to the Lord on high, God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy, the universe declares your majesty, you are holy, holy, Lord of heaven and earth. And earth. Early in the morning, I will celebrate the light. And when I stumble in the darkness, I will call your name by night. God of wonders beyond our galaxy. You are holy, holy, the universe declares your majesty, you are holy, holy, God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy. Universe declares your majesty. You are holy, holy. Sing it again. Holy, holy. Great singing. That song again is called God of Wonders. Now I'm gonna step off the stage because I'm not good at this next song, but these two are really 
good, okay? So but make sure you're still on your feet. Get up on, hey, get off that couch. I saw you sit down, all right? <laughs> get back up on your feet and sing this song out. Every move I make. Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Sing a chorus with us. Here we go. Ways of mercy, ways of grace. Everywhere I look and I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh, my Lord, this love, how can it be? La, 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 Here we go again, guys. I want you to sing out, sing up, make it so loud that we can hear you, all right? Here we go again. Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. And every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Here we go. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look. I see your face, your love has captured me, oh my Lord, this love, how can it be? La, 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 Way to go. Great singing. I want to thank Miss Grace for playing the guitar for us and Brother Levi for joining us today as well. But before we get started in our lesson, I want you to take a look at this one video to remind you of last week. You are the light, you live in me. Help me to love like you love me. Even when I want to go my own way, Jesus, you. Make me strong No, I won't give up Even when it's tough I'm gonna shine my light for you Yes, I will do good And I will be kind I'm gonna shine my light for you I'll shine for you Lord, I'll be patient And I will share Others see how much you care Even when I want to go my own way Jesus, you make me strong No, I won't give up Even when it's tough I'm gonna shine my light for you Yes, I will do good And I will be kind I'm gonna shine my light Well, welcome back. It's good to have you with us. I hope you enjoyed that music video about being a light for Jesus. I just want you to really think about last week, but before we jump into that, let's open up with a word of prayer, okay? Father, we thank you so much for loving us and for being a light for us so that we may see what we're doing and where we're going. Please bless this time together. I pray that myself and the boys and girls will learn more about you so that we can better serve you this week. And all God's children said, amen. All right, well, last week, I want you guys to remember that we, we learned about what it was like to be a light for Jesus and how to follow him. You're like, Mr. Joe, you've got all this kitchen stuff in front of you. What are we gonna do? Well, I'm gonna tell you. But first, I want us to go back just a quick second and remember this. Last week, we looked at 1 John 1, 9, where the Bible says that if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just and to forgive us of our sin and cleanse us from everything that's bad. He forgives us and he comes and lives within us. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about. The moment that you ask Jesus to forgive you of your sin and the moment that you accepted Jesus as your savior, God says that he sends his spirit, the Holy Spirit, to live within you and me, to live within us. 
Yes, he does that so he can teach us and show us everything that he wants us to know and learn. So what I want you to think about now is, well, what kind of stuff does the Holy Spirit teach us? What does he show us? Mr. Joe, I don't understand what you're talking about. How can something I don't see show me and tell me what to do? Well, because we accepted Jesus by faith, right? Faith, we believe in things that we don't see, like God who saves us, the Holy Spirit that lives within us. He shows us the way to live our life. He shows us certain things to do. In Galatians 5, through 23, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Well, wait, Mr. Joe, the, the fruit? He gives us apples and oranges? Strawberries and blueberries? No, not like that fruit. If I were to show you a picture of a tree, and that tree had an apple on it, you would call it a apple tree, right? If I were to show you something with an orange on it, you would call it a orange tree, right? Because you know that tree produces that fruit, so therefore it's an orange tree. The same kind of thing is the meaning for us. When Jesus lives within us through the Holy Spirit, the things that we show other people, the way that we act, the things that we do, the way that we respond to what happens at school or at home with our brothers and sisters, what we do is an example of what's inside us, and that's Jesus. And the way that I wanna show you about that today is this. We are gonna do some cooking, but we're gonna do it in a very short version, okay? All of, if you guys ever wanna learn how to do this, I'm gonna post something at the end to show you how to do it. But this is the way I wanna do it today for the sake of time, all right? Pay attention because this is very good, and I hopefully will have a chance to eat some of this at the very end. In Galatians 5, 22 to 23, we talked about the fruit of the Spirit, and if you have your Bibles and you're looking at it, Mr. Joe's just gonna read real quick that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, and temperance. Oh my goodness, look, what, Mr. Joe, all of these words, I'm not even so sure what they all mean. Well, that's okay, because we're gonna go through them little bit by little bit, and just gonna give a quick explanation of what each one means. The first one we're gonna talk about is love. Love, and now, I, now love is probably one of the most easiest ones in my mind to think about. Think of someone that loves you no matter what. You make mistakes, it doesn't matter what you do, what you say, what you look like, but they still love you, and God loves you too no matter what. He loves you more than anybody. So let's do this, let's take a look at this. So we're gonna take this fruit pizza is what the recipe of the day is, and this slice of pizza is gonna represent love, okay? There we go, there's our love, all right? Let's move on to the second one. We think of peace, or joy, I'm sorry, from love to joy, we think of joy, and joy is being very happy. It's being happy inside when, when things aren't going great, and again, we try to be joyful, but only God can give us that kind of joy and happiness. We just can't be joyful on our own, okay, so there's our joy. Now let's take this slice of joy from our pizza. Ooh, man, this looks good. I wish I probably would have taken a slice and eaten this at home, but I don't think I would have been able to teach you if that would have been the case. Okay, next one. We're looking at peace. Peace, everybody's like, oh, I know what peace is. It means no more war, no more fighting. Well, this, this is a peace that we get when we, when we know God, when we really know him by reading the Bible, praying, and coming to church and learning more about Jesus, we have this peace, this calmness inside our hearts and our lives because we know God is in control. Let's look at our, th oh, what we got, oh, almost forgot, Mr. Joe almost forgot our peace slice. Here we go, sliding in our peace slice of fruit pie. Number four, long suffering. What in the world does that mean, Joe? I have to suffer for a long time? No, it means patience. Everybody has been told, have some patience. Wait your turn in line. No, you can't open your Christmas presents yet. You've got to wait. It's being patient on God and God's timing and what God's teaching us. So that's patience. So here we go. Here we go with our next one. Here's our third slice. Oh, boy. This takes some real tender care. Okay. Ready? Number five. Kindness, oh, I know that everybody at home, and I know that you all have been told kindness, all right? Next is kindness. It should be easy, though, sometimes it's not. It's easy to be kind to someone who has been mean to you or to someone that's like a, a beggar on the street, okay? So when you need to be kind, it's telling, God's telling us to help people out in their times of need. It's telling people to, oh, Help them through maybe the struggles that they're going through. Send them a nice little letter. Send them a, a, a call them on the phone or a text and help them out in that way. So that was kindness. 
Now, I know that you all saw gentleness on the screen, and we're going to talk about that one next, okay? Or goodness. We're going to talk about goodness next. Being good, having the gift of goodness means God can, de- uh, God can depend on me to be honest and repent of my sins and to do the right things. We need to try to We need to try to act this way towards others so that our actions can show the fruit of God, so that other people can see Jesus through us. We need to be good to others because God has been good to us. All right, let's throw our next piece in, our goodness piece. Here we go. Sliding that one in there. We're doing great. We got three more. Here we go. Next one we've got is faithfulness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness is the one that might be a little tricky to understand, okay? Being faithful is keeping your promises, being loyal to friends even when times get tough, being trustworthy and doing things you said you would do. When I think of faithfulness, I often think of my closest friends that pray for me, that say they'll always be there for me. And we need to remember that God is faithful to us and we need to be faithful to him. So let's throw our faithfulness slice in. I can see Brother John just drooling in the back. He's chomping at the bit to eat some of my pie. All right, next one. Meekness, looking at meekness. Meekness is like gentleness, being gentle. How many of you have ever held a baby? You're like, oh, you gotta be very careful and gentle so that you don't hurt it. Well, God wants us to say and do things with being a gentle voice and a, and a gentle outward expression. So that's gentleness. Now let's put our gentleness slice in there. Here we go. We are almost there, almost there. Last but not least, we got self-control or temperance. And it is good, this is a very good one. Temperance, being, con- having some self-control. All right, not jumping into the dinner and eating before you pray or not, not uh, racing off somewhere when someone told you to behave and sit still. It's having some self-control where we can't do the things that we might wanna do, but we gotta do the things that God wants us to do. God tells us that it's his timing and his way. All right, here we go with the last piece. Last piece here, okay, sliding this in. This is good, I'm gonna put this over here. Hang in there with me, all right. Slide that in there, let's get my strawberries. You guys didn't know you were gonna have a cooking show at church today, did you? Well, we are, because everybody loves to eat. All right, you ready? I'm gonna show you this. Now there's a reason that we put this pizza together because whenever we have the nine fruits of the Spirit, whenever we let Jesus to take complete control of our life, your life and mine, whenever we read our Bible, pray every day, and we learn to grow, we have all of that put together, and I want you to see if we can see this without me dumping it, we have Jesus. So you can't take just one piece and not put it out there. You have to have every part of Jesus in order to make yourself whole. So today, I want you to go back and and think about all the different fruits of the Spirit. I want you to study all nine. You're like, Mr. Joel, that's a lot. But I have given you some activities at the end, okay? I'm gonna give you some activities at the end. Uh, There are links that you can print out and download, and you can fill those in. And we're also gonna post a video on how to make your own fruit pie. And what I wanna challenge you to do is as you make that pie and cut it into nine slices, okay? Nine. I want you to say each fruit of the Spirit with your family. And I want you to take a picture, though, before you eat it. Post it. Show me because I'm interested in seeing what you're doing. I love to know that you're learning. I appreciate you joining us for one more exciting Kids Live event, and I hope to see you next week. I love you guys.